October monthly report just dropped. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway with Elnal TI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, let's just get straight into it. Um, the monthly report for October. So CIG started off with October was a busy month for all CIG staff with patch launches, pyro in the PTU, and of course, CitizenCon 2954. Alongside these major events, progress on upcoming feature continues with many team finalizing content for December's Alpha 4.0 and 2025. So it seems like they are intended to drop um, 4.0 in December. So, uh, which is good. A lot of people think that uh, it wouldn't make it, but they they intend to drop it this year. So, all right. So it continues to say to note this will be the last PU report for the year, with November and December's entry coming in January. We'll see you next time. All right. So let's just get straight into it. AI features. It says here the team continue to iterate on functionality for NPC healing down friendlies improvements were made to npcs with rocket launchers who now enters combat even when no cover is available and switch to their sidearm if an enemy gets too close that's going to be crazy they're going to give npcs rocket launchers oh my gosh that's insane all right under ai game intelligent development team it says the game intelligent development team polished star script version 1.0 for its internal release for example they reduce the loading times for majority of large containers example a whole star system from 10 to 2 seconds and integrated the new groups look to more clearly differentiate between groups on the animation the animation team worked on the valakar and the space cow valakar is the sandworm and it says alongside the adjustment to the copian they also continue to provide facial animation support for PU characters and prepped for an upcoming narrative shoot. Under art characters, says the art team continued creating the utility and specialist armors, including color and material variants to support faction and missions. Work also begun on armor for upcoming events. The character concept art team created new armors, including utility battle tech and super heavy armors really just i'm really keen to seeing these new armor sets coming into the pu cannot wait for them under ship art it says here october saw the ship team complete the final content review of the rsi polaris the final content task in currently in progress for the miss star lancer max the team is nearly finished with two unannounced vehicles uh, while several more are approaching their white box and gray box review, six additional vehicles will begin production soon too. Really nice. Um, economy, it says here, the economy team continued their ongoing work on pyro and begun implementation of some of the balance changes mentioned in the previous monthly reports. Under mission design, it says here, the mission system refactor progressed with future handyman missions entered KTAR and are currently going through the final polish phase. They also plan tasks for future releases alongside the fundamental archetypes for some of the guilds unveiled at CitizenCon. Under online technology, it says the online service team progressed with feature for 4.0. As part of this, the refactor of the entity subscription service used for markers was completed and is currently in testing the back-end social system changes needed for server meshing begun internal qa testing the mission system is also starting its first round of testing with additional feature currently in development to support larger coordinated missions under research and development the r d team spent a few months supporting the introduction of dynamic weather really interesting uh, work on the rain volume inspired a prototype for improved ground fog rendering so that's gonna be very interesting once to get that in finally work has begun support to maintain the map storing the accumulated amount of rain among other things this will allow puddles to remain for a while after rain that's gonna be pretty cool that's 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 pretty cool that's pretty cool they didn't need to go that far with it but uh i really admire them even uh, creating puddles as it rains that's going to be a cool thing to watch 
On the VFX, it says the artists continue to support vehicles and location teams with upcoming deliverables. All right, so those are the main pieces for the October monthly report. You guys let me know your thoughts on what we just covered in the comments down below. It is a little light, but um, we're at the end of the year, so what can we expect, right? Uh, before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.